out there so what we've been working with with Fox Sports 1 is, is to get these bars conditioned Saturday night UFC is on Fox Sports 1 they can go on YouTube they can DVR it and they can go through all the commercials they can do all the stuff the one thing you can't do that with is a live sporting event you need to see it live and, and, and it's all part of the excitement and the energy you normally have a group of people around you this guy hit a home run this guy got a knockout that's the live sports is where it's at right now <laughs> I got one of the bathrooms. And then you had to tell my other one really fast. Look, 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 look. Your elbow. Neary. Yep, it's Neary. Came. Yeah, it's out front. I got drunk last night and bought that fucking smart car. Hey, Dana, Aiden, come here real quick. Oh my god. Is that hilarious? It goes 100? I doubt it. <laughs> Dad, can you teach me how to drive? Sorry, not you. Is that funny? Oh. All right, you're milking it now. I think it's over with. Grape, strawberry. Put your shoes on. We're finna leave in a Here, minute. Get some strawberries before they go bad. Get the clothes ready. We're running late for church, but we're gonna get it done. I got three, five, and ten year old. So in general, you know, we just kind of relate the message for the age. So the ten year old, I can talk a little bit more in depth about it, about God and about praying. The younger one, we just try to get him not to be crazy and all over the place. As you will see, he is on ten at all times. It's a cuss word. What is it? He said you said cuss word. Yeah. He said no cuss word. He did. I did. No, he did yesterday. And you said a curse word. And and that's us. I'm not in this house. I thought she's making. You said a curse word in mommy next house? Yeah, he said, I thought this make like this. Okay. You bet you are gonna get a spank if you say some some curse words. Alright, we're about to head out. We got one that's flipping out. Let's go to church. So we're gonna head out. Let's go guys. I try to eat all the way up until the day of the fight, to be honest. You know, so I, I just make my meal size a little bit smaller. I usually travel around like 190. A lot of people think I weigh like two something, but I weigh 190. Saturday and Sunday is really important to me to actually make the fight week easy because if I don't drink a lot of water today and tomorrow, um, those last couple of pounds seem to take a lot to come off. So that's the plan. You see you guys in the sticks. We got some long range targets with squares so you can kind of see if your shots are on or off. Um, we also have some melons. We're going to be safe, but we are going to have some fun. <laughs> going live. Now it's time to see something splatter.
Make you feel like a man. <laughs> That ain't easy. Oh, wow. So this part right here is actually going to be facing the audience. Okay. Two, Crack. two, two, then, then four, four, then 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 then. then, then. courtesy of the Palms Hotel and Casino. <laughs> <laughs> to Vancouver and cooks for me. I'll be using like the hotel kitchen and it's one less thing I have to worry about and that way I know yeah, I'm eating everything clean and uh, you know it's it's ready on time and stuff like that so. It helps me go to the bathroom. So in fact it helps me lose weight. Honestly I felt like I really hit my, my stride in, in this uh, in this fight camp, I, I I really think this is the best I've ever been. So uh, I'm looking forward to getting in Vancouver tomorrow. Right after the fight, I don't have to get on a plane again or go back to a hotel room. You know, I'm home. You know, I have my family right there for me. So it's uh, it's nice to just be home after a fight, and not have to uh, worry about travel afterwards. And you know, it's it's another fun part of uh, fighting uh, locally.